In this video, we check out the newest and one of the best Filipino food stalls in San Diego, White Rice by Chef Philip Esteban, here at Liberty Station in Point Loma, next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today, I am joined with my friend Jess. Hi! <laughs> We're gonna eat the best new Filipino food in town here at Liberty Station. Filipinos representing Chef Philip Esteban and White Rice. We're gonna try that out. We're also gonna try out a Taiwanese boba spot with a Filipino twist. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit about a little project me and Jess are doing a little later on in the video, so stay tuned. It has something to do with the television. Ooh, with TV. TV, yeah. That sounds fun. But first, we're gonna try out the food before this plane comes. Oh, go, go, go! <laughs> Show the love. It's a cute shirt. I love it. Enjoy good things every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jaycationers. So we're here with Jess sitting down. Are you excited? I'm so excited to try this. <laughs> Can't wait. So this is uh, the first episode of Jesscation. Jesscation, volume uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hopefully one of many, right? Yes. One many. We ended up starting off with three different bowls here, and this is the langonisa, the longsilug. This is the the sino manok, and that is the lechon kawali with their own mang tomas. Yeah, they have their own house-made mang tomas sauce. Ooh, yay! There you go. Wow, so good. And there is your langonisa. Mm. Look at that. This is the tocino manok. So manok in Tagalog is chicken for those of y'all that don't know. And we also got a, she got her <laughs> calamansi iced tea right here, which I'm gonna try. And just what do you have? I think this is the ube uh, milk tea. Ooh. I'm excited to try it, it's very purple. It's like that dark purple yellow. <laughs> I like it. I'm into that. <laughs> that dark purple. The purple yearpool. <laughs> So you're saying we're matching? Oh yeah, we yeah, are. We're matching. Look at that. Ooh, Cheers. That purple. Cheers. Come what, what, in Tagalog, Tagay. 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 <laughs> Ooh, nice. Ooh. Ooh, yummy. So you got your sweet iced tea taste to this. You got that little twanginess of like the calamansi, but it's not like a super like soury, mm -hmm. sourish thing. It's more iced tea, but you mm -hmm. can you can taste the, the calamansi for sure. Ooh, I love calamansi too. Mm. Mm. Yummy, yummy. It tastes like what you think purple should taste like. It is like ube. It's very, it's kind of like a, it's like the yam, the purple uh, sweet yam. It, that's what gives it the dark purple color. And then when you taste it, it's like, it's very, it's like kind of creamy, but it's very smooth and it's not too sweet. It's just, it's just right. It's just right? Nice. Yeah, it's just right. And wow, this is really all you need for drinks. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. for those it's of you really that good. don't know, ube is Philippine purple yam. It's not taro. People always mm -hmm. mix it up with taro. There's a similarity because of the colors. I think right. ube is a little darker. It's a sweet yam, so it can like be made into desserts like halaya, ube halaya. But then the taro, you can find it in like singang. Ooh. Like it's a root. That's why my mom says like taro root. <laughs> yeah, like in uh, in Hawaii, they have a uh, poi. Oh poi. yeah. Poi, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think they use they use taro for poi, right? I think so, right? They use that. Inside. I'm not gonna lie. The time I tried poi at the luau, it tasted like nothing. <laughs> but this tastes like something. That tastes like something. It tastes like Filipino ube. Before we move on, I'd like for all of you to like, comment, and subscribe below. Yes, please, please hit that thumbs up button. We have plenty of content around San Diego in the month of November and December. If you guys are enjoying Jesscation, please comment below and say Jess is the best because she is. <laughs> and we are here at Liberty Station. What should we try first, Jess? Ooh, I want to dig into... Okay, I've been staring at the lechon. <laughs> okay, let's do the lechon. I'm excited. Ladies first. Okay. All right, Jess, so we got the Lichon Koali to start. What do we have inside it? Uh, we have the crispy pork belly, the echada pickles, 
garlic rice and an up egg, sunny side up egg. Nice. And yeah, achara pickles. That's uh, this right here, right? Right, so it's like vinegar, pickled carrot, and papaya. Like I think every Southeast Asian has its own version of like papaya salad. And they do make their house-made mang tomas sauce, so we're gonna try that up, out. I can see Jess is ready to go. I'm ready to go. All right, let's do it. Dig, <laughs> dig in. <laughs> that runniness. Mm, I'm so excited to eat. <laughs> so Jess is a Mark Wiens watcher as well. So she's she's trying to do her, you know. <laughs> mm. My, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try the rice and the achara first because I'm a big fan of papaya salad. I love you, mom, because she makes it too. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Achara is good. Yeah, even the achara alone is good. It's a little sweet, a little sour, but it's a the right amount of acidity. I think it's gonna pair well with the. Let's Here, let me cut this for you. Oh, you can have yeah. this half. Let's try it together. Okay, let's do it. Look at the crispy outerness of this. Mm. Ooh wee. <laughs> I'm gonna try some. We got the fat. Things. Yeah. I'll try the mang tomas. Shout out to the homies because they uh, gave us two mang tomas because they knew we'd like it so much. So. We're saucy, yes. Saucy. Tagay. <laughs> Wow, I love the crisp of that skin. That's really good. It's not oily, and it's not ma'alat. It's just nope, just it's right. The right amount. You don't need to add the salt into it at all. Chef Phil, mm. Mm. ooh, you did lechon koale justice. I'm not a big uh, eater of like pork, pork. Mm -mm. but I would. I'm down. I'm down with this. Ooh yeah, and, these, and this pepper here. It's the right it. spiciness. Hello. That's honestly really good. It's <laughs> so good. And you can get the garlic notes out of the rice. Mm. Oh. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Usually, we'll put like, sometimes you can use jofran or normal ketchup. Mm -hmm. That's what Filipinos like doing with their eggs. But, you know, today, you don't need it. Mm -hmm. There's no need for the ketchup. Mm -mm. So good. Oh, yeah. So, when you see the menu, you see silog. Silog means anything with rice and, uh, and an egg <laughs> and on top. Go, and and That's why they kind of call it top silog. <laughs> mm -hmm. Top silog. The so, egg is perfect. Yeah. So this lechon koali is good. Mm. Well, I haven't tried the uh, achara yet. Mm. Try it. Mm. What do you think? Yeah. It's not too too crazy on the vinegar. Mm -mm. So good. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing that me and her both came here on an empty stomach. Because mm -hmm. we're about to devour all of this. Marco and Duran. And we're from White Rice. White San, Rice, San, San Diego. Diego. Liberty Station is like has mostly the stores that you need. And this is a great place to go to for food. Stone Brewery right behind us. Some big name restaurants is out here as well. Lots of San Diego staples are out here. And we're out here. Okay, what do you want next? Let's try the Longanisa. The Longanisa? Okay. Mm -hmm. Longanisa it is. Alright Jess, so this is my favorite. Filipino breakfast and this is the long silug. They have a ton of langonisa, which is a sweet Filipino pork sausage. Gives out a big burp after, so <laughs> gotta be careful. It's really good. But it's super tasty. So you got the sweet pork sausage, achara pickles, up egg, and garlic rice in mm -hmm. this. And then I'm guessing this is the vinegar. Yeah, it looks like maang hang. Maang Suka. Suka. So maang hang means spicy in Tagalog. <laughs> She likes it hot. She likes it hot. She likes it's coming spicy. in hot. <laughs> she coming in hot. Shoot your shot. Hot. <laughs> I already smell the. Oh yeah. The the ang. That the vinegar taste. That yep. vinegar. The sukang. The radish right for here. Garnish. Radish. Radish. For garnish. Radish garnish. Ooh, and then they also. There's so much detail to this because they're they also topped it with like fried bawang. Maybe is it bawang? Yeah. Maybe does it look like bawang? <laughs> yeah, I saw them doing the little uh, salt bay with it earlier. Oh yeah, I love longanisa, or one of my favorite uh, breakfast foods too, because I love the sweet and savory. Try with me. <laughs> Dippy dip dip dip. Sao right. mm. Let's go. Mm. Mm. This longanisa perfection. Give me a little bit of the it logo over here. It's good, it's not too salty, not too sweet. But it has the perfect balance of like a good Filipino breakfast or a Filipino type 
lunch. Mm -hmm. I love how white rice sauce has a sauce salad for all their dishes. Everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, garlic rice, yummy. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Mm -hmm. Garlic, longanisa. Ooh. I'm gonna need some icebreakers after this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got you. I got Listerine strips. <laughs> she came prepared. Got you. Mm. Try more achara with. I see some red pepper in here too. The achara is very good. Like you could mm. taste the. There's definitely soup up. Mm -hmm. And you could taste the ginger. I think they most likely brine it in ginger because I could taste that. Right? And, <laughs> and in Tagalog is funny because suka is vinegar. But mm. suka is also throwing up. <laughs> I don't know why they mix and match words sometimes. I don't know. I don't know why, but it's <laughs> one's delicious, the other one. <laughs> yep. Super sarap. One's a sao sao one. Like what did it say? Salamat yo, but sarap yo. Oh yeah, sarap yo, salamat yo. <laughs> Chef Phil really made a interesting mm. like hip twist to his uh, advertising here at mm -hmm. White Rice. So you'll see some like hip Filipino. Mm -hmm. Like it's more catered to like the young crowd yeah. like us. Yeah. It speaks to us. But it speaks to everybody else, but it, it also, to everybody. you know, yeah. it so good. good. Yeah, this is like the perfect, I think people who are, um, want to be adventurous and they want to try Filipino food, this is a good way to start. Like this mm -hmm. is, this is definitely Filipino food at its finest. At Liberty Station too. I know, that's a shout out to Chef Phil because you have a Filipino stall in Liberty Station, one of the most popular food halls in all of San Diego. So that's pretty big time. So that's a big deal. Awesome. Congratulations. Yes, yes. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. That makes you dance. Makes me dance. I like the chata because it's there's acidity to it, but then the crunch and the sourness of it kind of cuts the fattiness of the pork sausage. What was the idea behind white rice? I think it's just um, silogs, like breakfast rice bowls for yeah. everyone. We're representing where we came from in the Philippines and we're trying to introduce to everyone our yeah. food from the Philippines. What are your favorites from your place? Right here, the lechon koalis is the top one. That one's my favorite for sure. And then also the sisi log is also really good. Yeah. Um, also this tocino manok is really good. Everyone loves a good longanisa. Solid. Yeah. If you have that sweet pork, it comes with a good egg and achara. Nice runny Big egg. Pork. Nice How about the Oh, you'll you'll see that in a you'll little see bit. That in a little bit. Let me just came out right now. For a bit, and I'll show it to you guys. Give us about five minutes on that pandi I appreciate it, man. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Shout out, thanks. On to our third dish, and we got the casino manok. <laughs> manok equals chicken. Chicky. In the casino manok, there's grilled chicken. Uh, achara pickles in this one, uh, garnished with yummy pickle, or actually just really beautifully cut radish, sunny side up egg, and garlic rice. There you go. Yummy, Let's yummy. try it out. This is a full meal. Like, My goodness. Even if we only had two of these, I don't think either of us would be able to finish. I know, this can feed a family, people. We definitely have to uh, ba on and take it back home. Us Filipinos, we don't waste food. We take it home and we have it for snacks a little Ooh, later. Yeah, for merienda, for merienda. breakfast tomorrow. Almusal. Ooh, he knows, he knows. You wanna try it? See, even though we're both born and raised here in San Diego, <laughs> we, we know. We know our yeah, Filipino know. culture. Love it, yummy. Yum. I didn't even try that. I tried mm -hmm. this. <laughs> mm, a nice char. Grilled char. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah. I like that grilled char to it. Man, I wish it's it like would. a light, right? light skin to it. Not light skin. <laughs> yeah, light skin. A light skin. <laughs> light grill. Like it's not like thick like the lechon is. It's like a light skin. Like not light skin. Light, light skin. Light skin. <laughs> it's healthy. <laughs> I wish I lived closer so I can like have this for bottom every day. Yep. So this is a special treat whenever you come down here to Liberty Station, sit out in this courtyard, it's beautiful. Watch the planes fly by, get that nice little Pacific Ocean breeze, and then enjoy all these murals. These are really cool. Because mm -hmm. we're in the middle of the Arts District, a really cool area. It's a beautiful area. 
So that'll do it for these first three. We're gonna move on to their ube pan de sal next. We gotta go inside and get it so it's so it's coming in hot. Yeah, so it's fresh, fresh out the oven. <laughs> next on our amazing Filipino food tour here at White Rice is ube pan de sal. Look at this. And look, they even have like crumbles that they sprinkle up to the top. And it looks toasty, yeah. You saw it coming out of the oven, nice and fresh. They give you this amazing ube paste. Yum. Yummy, oh, yummy. Spread that ube butter. All right, let's 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 teamwork this. Hit okay. that one, I'll get that okay. one, and we'll pull. pull. Oh. Whoa, that was so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. And then, How much are you? <laughs> We're having too much fun with this now. Oh, it smells good. It smells like fresh tinapai. With a tinapai mm. ube aroma. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Nice and airy. Get the buttery taste to it too. Yeah, I taste the nice buttery flavor. Ube butter, just like B BTS said, smooth like butter. Smooth like butter. Criminal undercover. <laughs> It'll make you dance like BTS eating this. Wow. You know, I think this is salt, huh? It this is. is like toasted yeah. bendiso with salt. Put some salt on it too, yeah. It's a nice contrast because you know the roll honestly is it's not that macamese. It it's not that sweet. Mm -hmm. it's good. That's wow. my number one. I've never tried it. I'm so happy. Thank you, Jay. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming. I know, thank you so much for let me try this yummy bread. And it's not over yet. We still got a bunch of other stuff to try. We have two more plates. Now this is the pulutan. So pulutan in Tagalog is like, yeah, you, you just pick off of the, the table. So you usually do this on like karaoke night when you're out with your barcada with your homies. Eat some uh, casual food. Here's the lumpia right here. Look at that. I need to turn on the product showcase. Ooh, yum. Yummy, yummy. That looks good. Dip that sao sao one. Dip you dip we dip. Put my dip. hand up on your hip. <laughs> and you dip we dip we dip. Porky. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. light crisp. Nicely rolled. Crispy. A nice palate cleanser mm -hmm. for what we're about to try. Yep. This is what we're trying next. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. This is the Sisi look. Mm. Sisig on top of uh, garlic rice mm -hmm. with the it log on the top. Mm -hmm with some pepper, got your chives, got onions, and it looks like there's a coconut yeah. type of dressing. It's like a gatas. Ooh, -wee. Ooh. Gatas equals milk. So good. I hope you guys are getting a nice little Tagalog lesson from me whenever, you know, I try to keep in mind like, oh yeah, not everybody knows Tagalog, so I try to like translate it as I, as we go. Mm -hmm. Two years at SDSU, Tagalog. Oh wow, fluent. We were on the same education track, that's why we get along so well. She went to Mira Mesa. You went to Challenger? San Diego State. Mm -hmm. So so from mid middle school mm -hmm. to college, we were on the same education track, but we didn't know each other. And now we're here. It all led Now us. we're here on Jess and Jaycation. Yeah, Jesscation, Volume 1. <laughs> volume 1. This is the pilot episode. <laughs> of, a, of a new series. <laughs> and, and stay tuned, because we're going to talk about a TV series a little later after we finish this. Mm. I'm excited. It's Thanksgiving plus Christmas plus your birthday all in one bowl. I'm already taba and. Hindi! Hindi <laughs> Ready to go? <laughs> ready. You first. Ready, ready. Okay. I really want to try um, one that has like some coconut gatas all over it. And I'm a big lover of uh, sabuyas. I love. That onion. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Because this, I cannot believe. <gasps> Ooh, he you got that some, yoki. You want some, oh. you want some itlog dip? I saw the itlog and I was like, I want to try it with that too. Okay. Itadakimasu. Bye. <laughs> it's like that, mm. it's like that meme where that mm. guy, where, where, uh, mm. where they're having that rap battle and they're like, oh. <laughs> Damn, Chef Till throws it down. Whoa. You got garlic, you got spice. Mm. Really coconutty, it's a little bit. Yeah, like a hint. There's like. But that spice is, mm -hmm. is, is a nice hitter. That spice is nice. Mmm. 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. 
not salty either. Grab yourself one more, uh, mm. or two more, or three more. Ooh, more. Oh, I really want to take a peek of what's underneath the itlog. Wow, what is this? Let's There's unfold like... the itlog. Look at the beauty. Wow. Look at... Mm -hmm. There is so much beauty to Filipino food, and this dish right here mm -hmm. speaks to it. Ooh. Ooh, and I love spicy, but there's a little bit of pepper in it. Yep. It's really good. You got the smaller red peppers. Ooh, wee. Ooh. Ooh, I love it. Mm. It's not even his birthday yet. Happy birthday. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's Sag season. Yeah, fire super... season. Fire. Because this right here, bring that fire. fire. Okay, I'm going to have one more and yeah. then I'm done. That was so good. That's the kind of bowl you want to eat with your friends, mm -hmm. your family. Mm. They put all the holiday type festive foods all in one. Now, me and Jess are both in vacation mode. Yes, definitely. Holiday mode. Holiday. This video is being shot on Thanksgiving week and we're definitely thankful. So thankful. Chef's kiss! <gasps> Oh my Bellissimo. god. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Prego. <laughs> Salamat yo. <laughs> <laughs> Salamat yo. Just like Salamat the bag says. Look. Oh yeah. Oh, and Look I like their, the their to-go bag. Look at that soup pot. That's very creative. Can you guys see the yo? It says Salamat yo. Salamat yo. Salamat yo. That's what's Salamat. up. CC look. Because I'm off the CC. Off the CC. Alright JKationers. So we're not done yet. We're getting dessert. <gasps> I love dessert. But we're not gonna get dessert here. We're actually gonna move over to Convoy, which you've seen on Jaycation before. Go check that out after this video is over. But we're gonna go to, of all places, a Taiwanese boba spot, but with a Filipino twist. Ooh, I can't wait. You excited? I'm so excited. And Jess, did you know this area we're in is where they filmed the scene of Top Gun? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so, so Tom, <laughs> turn the plane. <laughs> Tom Cruise ran out of class, aviation class, and he was fighting with his secret girlfriend, Kelly McGillis. He drove off, and this was the street. Wow. I think I probably said that on vacation a few times, but just to reiterate it. It's but... a beautiful place. It's a Navy uh, Neville training station back yeah. in the day. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? And now it's a uh, arts <laughs> district and uh, Liberty Market. We're also gonna show you this ice skating rink over here and talk a little bit about a little project we're doing right now. Oh, yes. All right, Jaycationer, so me and Jess wanted to talk to you about a little project we're doing. I haven't announced this yet. I might have casually said it on a live stream. I'm co-hosting a show on television. It's on uh, KPBS here in San Diego, and it's called Out of the Boondocks. I'm co-hosting it with my friend Rio, who you've seen on Jaycation before. And Jess is one of the amazing creatives that we interviewed. Now, I wasn't in that segment. I was a producer in that segment, but Rio did a great job interviewing you. And uh, yeah, we're gonna show a little segment about your Escrima. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. Jess and Jaycation are here. Jesscation, but they're all here to see Jaycation. Nah. <laughs> Stay tuned, it'll be in spring 2022. It'll be premiering on KPBS. And Jess is one of the 10 interviewees that we had. And she just talks about her journey with Escrima. Yes, Eskrima and martial arts, Filipino martial arts, and just bringing more female representation. I really can't wait for more families and more people and people from our community to see it because we really need to get it out there that Filipino martial arts has always existed and I'm just very grateful that Jay and even Rio asked me to be part of that. So it's such an incredible opportunity for it to be on, on TV. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Really excited for y'all to see this project we're working on. And she really is the real life Raya, <laughs> aka Arya Stark. <laughs> yeah, she's the real life Arya Stark, dude. I always feel safe with her. Like, no one's gonna mug me. You got the real life Arya Stark. You never know. <laughs> Just back to the food video, we're gonna head over to Convoy, which is the Asian food area, and try out some Taiwanese boba with a Filipino twist. So are you ready for this? I'm so ready. I think uh, there's a car there waiting for us, so. Over, over there. Yeah, over there, so okay. we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. Okay, let's go. So the silver bullet, my car, is in the shop, and luckily my friends over at SD Cruise and Rentals said, hey, why don't you take the i8 out for a ride? And I was like, i8? 
Hmm. Heck yeah. So SD Cruise and Rentals, if you're in San Diego, you can rent out some luxury cars. They have a fleet of like 11, 12 cars. And they're all really awesome cars from the Maserati to the i8. And if you use the promo code JKation, you get 15% off your next rental. What do you think about the Suicide Bears? Oh yeah, they are fantastic. They're so cool. They're like wings and they just open up. It's really convenient. Perfect day to do a food tour, right? All right, Jess, well, you know what? I've been driving. How about you uh, take a turn? Are you serious? Really? <laughs> okay. Let's I trust her. You her trust name me. starts with a J. Yeah. It's Jaycation. It's Jaycation. Let's go. Let's go. Have you figured out how to get out of the car yet, Jess? <laughs> it's really, there's no cute way of going in and out, so I'm just gonna... That's gonna, what she said! <laughs> I'm gonna... Well, I was told that you have to get your butt in first, and then... Okay. Okay, there you go. Woo. Bye! She decided not to drive. She said, <laughs> we're going across the freeway. We gotta just let Jaycation drive. Yeah, I trust Jaycation because we're about to head to Convoy and we already know we need a skilled driver for that, so. And Ooh. barely that. <laughs> and look at her cool heart shades. Very Anderson Pockish. Thank you. Silk Sonic. <laughs> Smoking out the window. I'll leave the door open. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, JK? <laughs> We're gonna have to do a bloopers for this episode. <laughs> What's up, JK? <laughs> What's up, JK? Like, comment, subscribe. Comment below. It's your girl, up. Jess. Hit that thumbs up. <laughs> so we're here at Snois, and yeah, we just drove over from Liberty Station. It's about 15 minutes. Convoy is an area where a ton of different Asian food spots are. The best boba. Oh yeah, the best boba spot. I've covered this before in my favorite ube desserts. Mm -hmm. You ready for some Filipino treats? Yeah. Taiwanese style though? Some sweet treats. Let's go and mm -hmm. look at the i8. Oh, what a beautiful she car. Cute. Oh, whatever. You can rent it 15% off. Promo code JKation. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Andrew, how are you doing? Doing good, Andrew. So you're going to make us some uh, Taiwanese slash Filipino inspired drinks. Yes. And right now, I'll just get started with the Joker's trick. Joker's trick. All yes. right. So right now, I'm just making the, the ube milk tea for the nice. Joker's trick. Awesome. Wow. It's our first time What's that? It We're putting some black tea in here. Oh, black then tea. I'm going to put some milk to mix it. Just snuck to the back. And uh, yeah, she's about to make some. What would you like? <laughs> There's ube, ice cream. I'm just trying to get to the ice. <laughs> uh. Oh no, that's not Slimer. Oh, that is Buku Pandan. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's the cloud, huh? Yes, sir. So, Kat, what are you making? I'm gonna make a taro milk tea. We're making the purple drink. The purple drink. All right. Some of that ube ice cream. Is that magnolia or is that a different? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kat confirmed it's magnolia. Yes, it is. <laughs> out the window with the Benzo. <laughs> All right, Jaycationers, so we're here at Snoys in Crany Mesa. 
kind of near Convoy, and if I were to make a top five boba spot place, this would make it because they make Taiwanese drinks mm -hmm. with a Filipino flair because the owners are Filipino. So mm -hmm. shout out to j -Rel. Interviewed him before on my Ube Desserts video. Ooh, mm -hmm. And now me and Jess are going to try Snoys. You've never tried Snoys before. I've never tried Snoys ever, but it looks and sounds Snoys. <laughs> and she got the Ube... What is this one? The purple, the purple drink. The purple drink. She got the purple, the purple drink. drink. Yeah, this is the Joker because it's got that green and that purple. That green and that purple. And you got the crazy Joker <laughs> drinking this. We match your drinks. Yeah, we are. We totally Cheers. match your drinks. <laughs> ube, ube, ube. All right, let's see. Well, we're still kind of full from the amazing white rice uh, mm. food. But now it's time to try this out. Mm. So Joker, purple drink. Purple drink. Cheers, Jess. Cheers. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's got dried coconut. I'm a fan. They made the house-made ube mm. whipped cream on there. So you got, I got the buku panda on here, and then I asked them for some boba balls. The boba balls are nice. <laughs> My boba balls are nice too. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be so hard making a boba <laughs> video talking about the balls. Mm -hmm. The boba tapioca pearls. But they're not, they're nice, they're fresh. <laughs> Cause like, I just had boba, I'm not gonna tell you where. Mm -hmm. When I had boba, I won't feature it on Jaycation, but mm -hmm. I had it mm -hmm. and it was like tigas. It was hard boba. Oh dang, no one wants it. So I had to, bola. I had to actually drain the boba. What? Yeah, and then, and then just drink the, it was a Thai iced tea boba. Oh, I love Thai iced tea too. Mmm, mm. this is so good. Do you want to try some of this purple dranky? I'm curious to see Switch. what... Do you taste your pandan? It's a cloud foam pandan. Yeah, so, so yeah, it's a cloud foam of pandan. I want to see... Do you taste the pandan when you drink the ube? Un poquito. Un poquito. Mm. A little bit. Mm. I want to just taste I'm sure you... Yeah, you got to kind of... You got to approach it from the top. Mmm, their pandan is good. Their foam, it's like... It's not cheesy. Although they say it's cheesy, it's more like that pandan flavor comes through. Yummy? Yeah, it's fun. It's a fun drink. I like this. This mm -hmm. is like ube on ube. They have the mix with it and mm -hmm. then they have the house made. Wow. Ube cream with coconut, dried coconut flakes at the top. I like yours. It's not sweet That's either. so good. What a way to top this off. But you know what? This is ain't it yet. <gasps> what? We got one more. Oh yeah, we have yeah. one Stay more. tuned. One more. What's up, JK Shinners? She, dude, it. she's catching on. <laughs> Jess is catching on. <laughs> Just kidding. Finally, <laughs> we are gonna have the Ube Pandesal with Fruity Pebbles up top, Magnolia ice cream. Y'all know I love that Magnolia ice cream. Jess, let's do it. Let's Yay. end the day. This is our final meal, we promise you. Oh, I'm so excited to try it. Mmm, finally. Okay, here we go. Boop. He got the shakes because <laughs> he's so excited. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 I like the fruity. Oh, it's nice crunch too. Mm-hmm. What's up? <laughs> Y'all yeah, hungry? Mm-hmm. Mm. Cotton. Mm. Yes, yes, y'all. I love magnolia. What's your favorite magnolia ice cream flavor? Definitely just normal ube. Mm -hmm. Basic ube. That I love it. But I don't hate the makapuno. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. normal ube. And this is gonna sound weird, but in the Philippines they have a double cheese ice cream. I love that's what the one that I was gonna say. So good. That is super good. I don't know what makes it so yummy either. Like salty. All the love and preservatives. Creamy, deliciousness. Oh, it's such a creamy ice cream, yeah. And the great thing about Magnolia ice cream is that you could reuse the container. You open it up, what's inside? Leftover sinigang. Leftover nilaga. <laughs> Leftover nilaga. <laughs> Ginola, what's up? So good. If it's very durable, you could use it as a double. <laughs> <laughs> I don't or know what you kit. use your for. <laughs> or, a, or a sewing kit. Sewing kit. <laughs> I don't know what you... Oh, you don't use the Danish cookies for a sewing kit? Okay, the tin, the tin. This is a gr great way to end the day. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's more fruity pebbles at the bottom. All right, Jacationers, we're gonna finish this off and then we're gonna close off the video. 
Jess, that says Suso Barbecue. <laughs> That's your favorite To all you kind. Filipinos. <laughs> what this? Yeah, I'm not even going to ask what it means. But to all you Filipinos, you know what that means. That's Susu Barbecue. All right, Jess, we're having too much fun in this I-8. So we're just going to take it over to Coronado because we can. Yeah. And let's just close it out there. Why not? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go! Smoking out the window with the beam. The beam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, check this out, guys. Suicide doors. Whoa. Yes. That's so cool. What? Blue light. Whoa, blue light. Azul. All right, Jaycationers, so me and Jess made it over here to the Hotel Dell. Yeah, that's it for our fabulous Filipino food tour. Food tour here in San Diego, Liberty Station, and in Convoy. Shout out to Chef Phil Esteban. Thank you so much, White Rice, for hooking it up. It was amazing. We really loved all the pagkain. It was so mazarap. up. <laughs> yeah, and thanks to Snoyce and j -Rail and family for hosting us over there as well at the Kearney Mesa location. The ube, the, 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 was that the Joker ube? Oh yeah, the Joker. Whatever it was, yeah. With the, the cloud pandan, it was so good. And her uh, purple drink was on point. Comment down below what's your favorite Filipino food dish. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. And if you liked, Jaycation, please subscribe. And if you want to see more of Jess, comment down below. Comment down below. And say, we want more Jesscation. <laughs> Jesscation. All right, guys. And you can also check out my Patreon, my Teespring. I got a bunch of merch down there, too. And we'll see you. And happy holidays happy from San Diego. Holidays. And in the words of Jaycation, stay traveling, San Diego. You want to close it out? This thing? Yeah. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>